comparing Eastern and Western medicine in the treatment of common colds, flus, and epidemics such as the coronavirus. Here's a timeline of the Eastern and Western interventions for a cold or flu. The orange shows the Eastern medicine prevention and all four levels. The Western medicine, if there's a vaccine available, it'll have prevention and otherwise it intervenes at three and four. In Eastern medicine, at any level one may recover and recovery is faster with intervention. The time between levels depends on one's health. So the stronger one's health, the slower the passage through the levels. The poorer one's health, the faster the passage. There was a lost opportunity when coronavirus hit. We didn't have a vaccine, which meant that Western medicine only intervened at level three and four, which is late stage and pretty dangerous. Eastern medicine, which was done in Asia, was both prevention and level one, two, three, and four. A lot of people did complete integration. When it hit, 80% of the Chinese used traditional Asian medicine, both acupuncture and herbs, to limit the severity and duration of the coronavirus. And the Beijing Health Commission stated that traditional Asian medicine helped improve outcomes by 92% with less symptoms, improving recovery speed, and resulting in fewer deaths. So looking at Eastern and Western medicines in depth, timing, diagnosis, and interventions. So Eastern diagnosis, the time is immediate. You would see a traditional Asian medical practitioner. They would examine the, t the tongue and pulse and consider symptoms, and they would make a diagnosis and give you a treatment immediately in that session. So you'd begin feeling better within hours of a session. In Western diagnosis, it takes time, a few days to a week or more to diagnose. And that's because of taking and processing lab results. And then the doctor advises on those lab results. And in that time, generally, there's no intervention beyond home advice, which is hydration, bed rest, taking Tylenol or Advil to reduce the fever. And there's really no early intervention. The result is the patients struggling at home with illness on their own. If they had been getting Eastern medicine, they'd be getting better. If they're getting worse, they're going to need serious Western intervention. In conclusion, with Eastern medicine, intervention happens before one is ill. Prevention goes beyond vaccines. The diagnostics happen immediately. They happen with treatment, which happens immediately. The patient begins to recover immediately. Patients need less serious Western medicines if they need them at all. It's less expensive. It's easily implemented and thereby saving lives, saving hospital beds. With Western medicine, the diagnostic process takes days and it delays treatment. If there's no vaccine, there's only late stage interventions. With a vaccine, there's still problems. It's more expensive to create ventilators or to use emergency late stage Western medications than to use acupuncture and herbs at any stage. And therefore more people die and patients suffer. In Asia, they have mostly controlled coronavirus by November, 2020, and it's out of control in the US. The ideal would be Eastern and Western medical integration. Yeah!